Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. We've got the 36 Ford three window coupe all finished up. The customs group build final video. This is a group build that I hosted. We had a handful of guys jump in to do some early customs. This is the 36 three window that I chopped and had a booger of a time doing it. There's a couple videos, I'll put the links in the description <clears throat> of me chopping the top and having to re-chop the top. Um, I actually uh, chopped it too much when I first chopped it. The windshield just looked really small to me and uh, uh, it got to the point where I had to like stall the project to figure it out and I just kept looking at it, kept looking at it. And if you see this roof line, how it goes smoothly like that, when it was chopped too much in the winch in the in the windshield, it went kind of like that, and then dog legged back to meet the A pillar. So it kind of did this. And I knew that wasn't right. So the combination of the small windshield and the dog leg and the A pillar, I knew I had to redo it. So I cut it across the top again, got another roof, and fixed it. There's there's videos about that on the channel. I'll put a link in the description. Anyway, this is an early custom. Um. This is specifically modeled after David Conrad's 36 Ford Coupe. That is a modern uh, car that was built in the last few years out of St. Louis, Missouri. I've seen the car in person several times. David Conrad has actually brought his 36 to the event that I helped put on called the Hot Rod 100. <clears throat> we do them all over the country. I used to do the ones here in Texas, but we stopped doing them over COVID and haven't got them cranked back up. But uh, David goes to the St. Louis Hot Rod 100 a lot, and he brings his 36. It's very, very similar to this. David's is uh, dark green, and this one is dark, 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 dark blue. I don't know if you can tell that on the video. You probably could see it in the pictures that I put on the in the front of this video. But this is, to me, a dark blue. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go through the custom mods that I did to it, and I've also got a kind of box stock 36 here to kind of show you um, so you can see some of the differences. Um, so first and foremost, the thing that top took me the most time was the chop top. And so as you can see right there, uh, the rear window, you can see how much I chopped it. I won't be able to tell you in scale inches how much I chopped it, but that gives you an idea. And then nose to nose, you can kind of see the windows, how different they are and front to front, um, you can see how much the dark blue one is chopped, okay? Um, <clears throat> let's see what else I do. Um, I gotta give credit to this kit. The kit is the Car Show Revell 36 Ford Convertible Chop Coupe 2-in-1. The 2-in-1 means you can also build it as a cabriolet. This is the old Monogram 36 that's been around for years, with lots of cool, cool new parts. Um, it came with this, you know, this little style, little style, style grill, the 40 Chevy headlights, uh, the smooth tire cover, the spotlight, which I may or may not put on, and uh, the 41 Ford bumpers. Anyway, great kit. They really spruced up that old 36 kit, and I love that old 36 kit, okay? All right, so I'm gonna kind of walk through the mods that I did on this thing. <clears throat> also showing you the um, the stock 36 or box stock 36 in comparison. Um, I'll start with the bumpers. The, the kit comes with 41 Ford style bumpers, but they're not super accurate. You can't really tell, but on the box, on the box, uh, those bumpers are there. The bump on the bumper is actually on the top of the bumper. Uh, so they're, they're kind of upside down as far as real 41 Ford bumpers go. And I was just gonna use them because I know nobody would care about that but me. But I realized the AMT 41 Ford Woody kit had 41 Ford bumpers. And so I was cruising eBay one day and I happened to find a seller that had two of these amazing front bumpers. They've got the correct rib on the bottom. They've got the correct overrider for 41 Ford, the correct bump, uh, bumper guards, and the correct license plate bracket. Um, I had a 41 
super deluxe bumper on my 40 Ford sedan and those are very, very accurate. Props to AMT. He had two of them, so I thought, why not? <clears throat> it was a common thing and I've seen many pictures of old customs where they would put a grill guard uh, overrider on the back bumper as well. And then it also gave me a place to put the license plate. Um, so again, there's that smooth um, wheel uh, spare tire cover. This is how the old kit is. It's a stock style wheel with a hubcap. This is the smooth one. A couple of the things that I did was I uh, took all the steps. I took the gas cap off here, and on the other side, I took the steps for the run for the rumble seat off of the tail light and the rear fender. And then that was difficult because this step actually goes over a peak, so I couldn't just file it flat. I had to file it on both sides of that peak to retain the peak in the fender. But it came out good. Um, so yeah, the forty one bumpers are from AMT. The uh, Hollywood Flipper hubcaps are from the um, Ravel 48 Ford kit. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, why didn't you go with white walls? Well, yep, a lot of people do white walls, but it was also common for people to do black walls back in the day. So I went with black walls. And I think the black walls just make it look really sinister, kind of more sleek. You can't really see the tire under the, under the fender skirt, almost like it's hovering. Uh, I dig it. All right, moving along. Um, the headlights are from the kit, but they're like a 40 Chevy style. They're definitely not 36 Ford. If you look at these 36 headlights, you can see that the 36 headlights are a little shorter and they're higher. These are longer and lower. Okay, so that's the idea with that. Also take a look at the hood. Um, <clears throat> right here is a stock 36 hood side with three pieces of stainless with vents in the middle. What I did here was just put an extra molding in between these two to make five. And that was a common practice they did back then too. Uh, if I was gonna do this again, I think I would file all of them off and redo all five with the styrene rod because these look okay, but when the light reflects off of them, sometimes they reflect differently off the two middle ones because they're just slightly different shape than the stalkers. So uh, this is Tamaya Dark Blue. <clears throat> and at first I was really like, ah, oh, it looks black. It's so dark. But after I polished it up and got it out in the sun, I'm really happy with it. Definitely an early customs vibe. Um, check out in there. You can see I was wondering what to do with the dash and I have sitting some bare metal foil sitting next to it. So I went ahead and just chromed the dash thought that turned out pretty good. A good old chrome dash is always fun in an early custom. Um, as far as the engine goes, totally box stock. Um, customs are usually hood closed vehicles. So I wasn't really interested in super detailing it. So that is a 100% box stock monogram flathead. And they're, they're a pretty neat little engine out of the box actually. Um, I've always liked those engines. Um, and then as far as the the chassis goes, get ready for the most detailed chassis you've ever seen. Just kidding. Um, nothing. <laughs> just box stock, all black, okay? Yeah, I was really concentrating on, oh, there's a fingerprint on my fender skirt. I should wax these things probably. After they get polished, they take prints really easily. Um, yeah, I was just really concentrating on the overall look and the finish and wasn't too concerned with um, you know, super uber detail. Um, sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. Um, the uh, I chop the windshield frame as well. Um, what I do there is I usually cut it and then super glue it back together. And then I file it very gently. I put this on a piece of masking tape on the table so it doesn't move or break. And gently file those seams down and then re-chrome it with a Molotov pen. Molotov pen? I always want to say like Molotov cocktail. That doesn't seem right. A Molotov pen. So <clears throat> anyway, what else? Let's see. Um, on this one, I retained the door handles and the, the rumble seat handle. And the rumble seat is still functional. I figured, why not? Um, 
the and on this kit the interior is different it's got a little bit more subtle tuck and roll pattern than on the old 36 kits which is kind of nice uh, but um, yeah I retain the door handles even though it's a lot easier to fill those holes and get rid of them uh, I kept them that was something that they did often at those in those little customs and uh, anyway I uh, hope you like it it's an early custom built to that style late 40s um, if you want to Google David Conrad's 36 Ford, you'll find a car that looks very similar to this. Uh, I believe he lives, yeah, St. Louis area. Anyway, thanks guys for stopping by the channel. If, if you wouldn't mind considering subscribing, hitting that like button with the notification bell on so you'll know when any new content drops. And um, if you have any questions, I love answering questions. Or if you need help with something, I, I would love to help you out, get you started, encourage you. Uh, to keep building. So thanks a lot, guys. Take care.